Hello, I hope you're enjoying this sh series on Linux shell commands and um, be sure to check out the full playlist. There should be a link in the description of the video. Um, and today we're going to be looking at logging uh, messages to log files on the system. Now, let's say you're, you're writing a script and it's going to try to do some things. And obviously, if there is an error or it fails, you're going to have some output to the screen to the user. But you may want to log it to a log file for the system. And there are different log files for different things. Um, just to have a record of that so that, you know, the sysadmin can go back and, and look over it and see where these errors are happening. So uh, let's go ahead and just quickly look at the end of one of these uh, log files. So I'm going to use the tail command, which uh, will show us the last 10 lines by default of a file. And we're going to say var log messages. That's one of the log files. And you do have to have permission to do this, so I'm going to sudo. And you can see the last 10 lines of that log file. It tells you, uh, you know, it was on the local host, uh, you know, the the user that uh, created, generated this message, this was a network manager, um, and then like down here was an example I did, which, uh, so my name's x 1000 and then the error message. So let's go ahead and see how you log to that file. Obviously, you, know, you, you, you shouldn't just write directly to it by, uh, you know, redirecting your output into it. There's actually a command called logger. And you can do something like logger, this is an error. Obviously, you'd want to give a little more information than that. We do that, and now if we run that same tail command, you can see that there was a on um, the date and time, on the local host, this user, this is an error, was dumped into that file. So let's go ahead and uh, work that into a command. So let's say we wanted to copy, and I'll make up a file here that doesn't exist. I'll say my file.log and we want to copy that to our temp folder because we're backing up to our temp folder, whatever. You know, obviously you don't want to back things up to your temp folder because it's temporary. Anyway, let's we'll call it backup.log. Um, and we'll give it a number, blah, blah, blah. Okay. So we do that and it's going to fail, obviously, because that file doesn't exist. What we can do is, one way of doing this is checking is doing the double pipe as I've shown in previous uh, tutorials. That means if the last command fails, do this and we can say, echo fail and now uh, not only do we get the copy command error but we also get our little fail, fail error which obviously you'd want to give a little more information than that um, but we can also use our our log command so I can say logger um, with two G's and I'll hit error and it's been logged to the system file so now if I was to go up and tail that out again you can see that that message get there. And obviously, again, you'd want to give more information than just a fail. Um, but if you wanted to do both, and again, there's different ways to do this. You can do a full if-then statement if you're writing this in a script. As a one-liner, I can put this in parentheses and add two commands in here. So I can say echo fail, which you're getting the output from the copy command in this case anyway. But fail, I'll say logger, fail to copy file and we'll say this file and then I'll hit enter so in a script it would try copying this file to here and it's saying well if it fails give our fail output which shows right here on the screen but also log it and so now we can say uh, tail that and you can see right down here that it has been logged it gives it the date and time what user was running it uh, obviously on local host and the error message and you want to be as descriptive as possible without getting too long. And uh, that's just uh, one log file. If I was to uh, list out here, I can list out all the var log files. You can see there's a bunch of them, blah, 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 for different things. And there's different ways to write to them. Uh, so go ahead and look through the man file for logger. So you can just man logger should bring it up. And it will give you different um, options while running this command. So, you know, look through that, learn a little bit. But very simple to just do that basic command that logs to the uh, the messages log and um, that's pretty much it it's not a bad idea if your script is doing anything of importance and you want to be able to troubleshoot later to write to the system log files so you have an ongoing record of that and the system takes care of those uh, depending on your system setup every so often it's going to um, tar those files to compress them down uh, tar and gzip them I believe uh, is the compression used and uh, it will keep them for so long so you can go back quite a ways on a Linux system, unlike uh, 
the default on like a Windows system. Once you, if it logs anything, once you restart lots of times, that stuff is gone. Um, luckily, a Linux system by default backs up, and it's just little text file. Text files are compressed over time, so you can definitely troubleshoot quite a while back. So. I do, as always, thank you for watching. Please visit my website, filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. There's a link in the description of the video. Uh, there you can look through all my videos. You can also go to my scripts, my notes, and search through all my scripts and notes. Um, you can also support me in the support section, either through PayPal or patreon.com forward slash millx1000. I'm actually looking into some other options. I heard about something new the other day, uh, but I don't want to put it up there. I don't want to start using it until I know more about it. Um, but different ways to support me. And uh, if you can't support me financially, think about liking, sharing, subscribing, and commenting. Those thumbs ups help a lot. Shares definitely. The more views I get, the better. I do thank you for watching. And as always, I hope that you have a great day.